This is a pom julep. What we're gonna need for this, fresh mint, a lemon, elderflower cordial, and some pom juice. We're gonna make this in an elderflower julep tin. If we don't have one of these at home, you can use any kind of vessel that you like. Wine glass will work quite well. We need some fresh mint for this. And I'm going for about eight to 10 mint leaves. And we're gonna use lemon wedge in there as well. The lemon's gonna give us that sour flavor in the cocktail, which is gonna help balance out the sweet flavors that we put in. Give that a good squeeze. And then we're gonna go for 12 and a half mils of our elderflower cordial, three shots, 75 mils of our pom juice. Also, if I wanted to make this alcoholic, I could add gin at this point or vodka, crushed ice in the top there. Just so it's about two thirds full, we need a little bit of room to help move the ice around. The way we're gonna churn this cocktail, by using our spoon here. If you don't have a bar spoon like this, you could just use a normal latte spoon, it's absolutely fine. So we're gonna churn through like this, up and down. Now obviously, the more I move the ice around, the more we're gonna get dilution to the cocktail, but it's gonna help us chill the drink down, and obviously at the same time, mixing the ingredients together. So this is perfect now. What we need to do is slow this dilution down. So the way we're gonna do that is by adding more ice to this cocktail. And if we haven't got crushed ice at home, we can just fold some tubed ice in a tea towel and use a rolling pin to smash that down to get the ice. A nice little cone that looks good there. Straw to make a little channel down that crushed ice. Just a, a little slap on the top like that will help release the aroma. And then we can use a beverage napkin and wet either corner here like this. So they're both wet now. And that's gonna help that stick to the tin. So I'm gonna wrap this around. Now this is not just to make it look pretty, I promise. It's it much easier to hold the, the tin because it will be very cold. So that is our pom julep. To make your pom julep, you'll need 12 and a half mils of elderflower cordial, one lemon wedge, 75 mils of pom juice, and eight to 10 mint leaves. You'll make this in a julep tin or wine glass. You'll gently bruise all the, the ingredients together add ice and then garnish with your mint sprig. This is also perfect for family barbecues made in jugs or any other large vessels that you may have.